What's going on everybody? Today we are going to be going over the best five sneaker life hacks that you need in your life. Trust me, there's a ton of videos out there with a bunch of sneaker life hacks, but these are the top five that we have narrowed it down to, all right? I use these on the daily. You do not want to miss out on them. Let's get into the first one. All right, so sneaker life hack number one. This is crucial if you wanna get those toe box creases out of your sneakers. You will need a damp wet cloth, some paper to stuff your uh, sneakers with, and then also an iron, all right? Everybody has this stuff laying around at home. Let's get right into it. All right, so we have a pair of Jordan 1s right here. Obviously, these are really prone to creasing in the toe box. So I just grabbed some like old scrap paper and I'm gonna stuff the toe box. All right, and then we have already dampened the cloth. You will lay it over the toe box like so. Make a little nice little cocoon. Very important that you make sure iron is piping hot, all right? Piping hot. Make sure the, uh, the little sprayers are working. Oh yeah, sprayers are working. All right, we're ready to go. So what you will do is actually just go over the toe box. This is basically gonna soften up the leather so that it expands a little bit. And since the sneakers are stuffed on the inside, it's gonna mold to that shape. If it's steaming, that's a good thing. You can see, I feel like I'm grilling a steak right now. You can hear that sizzle action. So you wanna do it for only a couple minutes. You don't wanna overdo the softening of the leather. Just keep that in mind. One minute, all you need. Always wanna keep the iron moving as well. Don't keep it just in one spot, fall asleep. You might, you know, burn a little iron um, design in your shoe, unless that's what you want. Also, if your cloth drives up quickly, you can hit them with the steamies a little bit, some little bit of reinforcements, and then go over again. All right, all right, here is the reveal time. Guys, trust me, this is the craziest sneaker life hack you might ever come across. Let's, wow. Let's take off the stuffing right here. Wow. That is crazy how good this sneaker hack works right here. Almost looks brand new in the toe box area. So yeah, make sure you guys look into it to give your crease up sneakers a second life. Woo, okay, so this one right here is to turn any canvas-like sneaker into a waterproof material, all right? Especially, you know, here in Seattle, this is crucial because it rains so much. So we got our canvas sneakers right here. We got a candle and then we got some lighters. Super, super simple. And if your candle smells good, it makes your sneakers smell good as well. Let's get started. So we have the untreated sneaker right here. You you run this through some water. Water's flowing through it like the Serengeti, all right? All right, so what you will do is take a candle. I already took off the bottom sticker right here. And then you're gonna be basically rubbing the entire sneaker with the candle wax like so. You could kind of see your uh, sneaker with the wax coating on the outside. I mean, let me get a little more wax action. Very important to have the entire candle exposed. That we can okay, there we go. It was up, the sticker was holding me back. So now that we have the uh, sneaker coated, you kind of want to melt the wax so it really seeps into the fabric and creates that coating so no water gets in. Uh, very important, do not hold it too close to the sneaker. Just a little heat, you know, a little heat. So you want to give it a little bit of time to dry. You will know you are done when you cannot really see that coating of wax on the outside. I can't really see it. Seems like it has really gone into the fabric. Now it is the ultimate test, all right? <sighs> okay. No water through the sneaker. Sneaker gods. Oh, look at that. Going right over, not even soaking into the sneaker. This is proven. The wax method to waterproof any canvas sneaker. Definitely recommend this, but take your time. So to me, what makes a true sneaker hack is utilizing things that you have laying around the house, making it really convenient to solve these problems. And everybody has a box of tea bags in their house. So what you will do to freshen up any sneaker, all right? You know, nowadays, one of the most overpriced items when it comes to sneaker accessories has to be the deodorizing balls that people put in their sneakers after they use them. All you gotta do to replace those and not spend an arm and a leg are these tea bags right here. You could get any scent or flav flavor, scent? 
Well, now it's a scent. So this one right here is a green ginger. I don't know if it's 100% true, but I heard ginger eliminates odor a little bit more than, you know, your fruitier teas and whatnot. Who knows? They say ginger solves us everything, so I don't know. But all right, so you got the tea bag right here. And you will literally just place it in the toe box of your shoe after each use and it'll trust me guys this will solve any funky smells i used to have a small apartment a couple of roommates and this was a game changer we didn't have to spend like 20 bucks on a set of deodorizing balls you could just put your tea bags in your sneakers like so if you want to even go the extra mile you could shake a little bit of the powder in your shoe leave them overnight or until the next time you wear them and then if you're not using them you could just put them in like a ziploc bag or whatnot next to the door to keep them organized hopefully rams doesn't come over and thinks that you just have some tea bags laying around and makes you some tea with it keep that in mind all right so this next one right here this is for anybody who wants to keep their shoes looking a little bit fresher and has the lint balls right here on the teal area and also if you're like reselling any sneakers this is just going to add a lot of value to your sneakers by cleaning this up and it takes matter of seconds and what you're going to want is an electric lint shaver these are only a few bucks from any store you're going to turn it on like so we have a bunch of lint on the heel area oh I could already hear it snagging. It's basically the same concept as shaving. So if you do not have an electric lint shaver, you could basically get a razor and do the same thing and cut the lint out. Let me get the side. Yeah, this is super effective actually. Boom, and we are done. Literally 20 seconds and you could add a lot of value to your shoes. It just looks cleaner, makes you, for me, makes me feel better about the shoe. So yeah, an electric lint shaver. Do not sleep on these. All right, so last but not least, this has come really in handy now that I've been running outside a little bit more and I need my sneakers to be really secure on my foot. You know, when you're running on sidewalks and everything, you want your sneakers to be really secure so you don't hit like a sidewalk at the wrong angle or whatever. But yeah, this is going to keep your sneaker really, really secure on your foot. And a lot of people actually do not know that this is what the extra hole is intended for when it comes to running sneakers. All right, so we got a pair of... Uh, Nice little sketchers right here that Gabe got from the store. All we had around. All right. So you have your shoes like so. A lot of people will lace them up right here and just do their knot. But what you want to do is feed. So you'll be on the same side right here. And what you want to do is feed the lace through that extra hole like so on both sides. So it'll kind of create like a bunny ear. And then you want to cross the lace to the other side and then you're gonna drop them down through the hole and then you want to tighten and trust me guys I know it sounds very simple looks very simple but once you lace up your shoe it'll be like extremely secure on your foot and this also is really good for any shoes that are a little bit too big when you are working out in or playing ball in and you just want that extra security this really locks down your foot and adds a lot of value and it's completely free so something a lot of people overlook but goes a long way is the runner's loop all right guys thank you for checking out that five sneaker hacks you need in your life i know there's a ton out there but these are just five that i found really useful for my life let me know down in the comments below if there are any that i missed that you personally find really useful i'm definitely curious to see them that's pretty much it and until next time i'm out peace